I oh, appreciate that. And I'll have some video from Spin Up uh, that we'll see here in just a minute. But first, let's go to the newsroom. Stop the music. It's time for news. In the newsroom, it's all the news about drones you'd ever want to know. Droning the news, it's Jeff Sills. Hey. Hey, hey. I got a chance <laughs> to be a part of the news, I guess, today. Uh, got a chance to go out to Magnolia nearby and film George Bush's train coming through on its way to College Station for the funeral. Yeah, check this out. Okay, so we came out to the train crossing here in Magnolia to uh, get footage of Bush, and there were helicopters everywhere. Um, and once the train started coming into the town, the helicopters kind of skedaddled. They were, I guess, checking the tracks ahead of it. But I was able to get the drone up in the air, and I was able to capture this footage of the train passing through the intersection there in Magnolia. Um, obviously, I'm doing this on a telephone, you know, or a, a cell phone. The picture is really small. It's hard for me to see shooting distant shots. So uh, please accept this for what it is, and I hope you guys enjoy the footage. This is really cool, and the train is uh, painted up like uh, Train Force One there? Yeah, it's uh, known as uh, Bush 4141. It's actually George Bush's train. It was given to him and is part of his uh, presidential library. That's really cool, and I'm glad that you were able to get out there and, uh, and get your The News Chopper on the spot. Yeah, this is the first time the Phantom 4 Pro got a chance to go out and, and uh, do its own little video. It's really small, so it's hard still to learning. see. Yeah, let me, uh, I was gonna, I was gonna uh, add to that a little bit. All right, there we go. Got News <laughs> Chopper 1 out there. Yeah, that, that's really good. Um, and and, and, and I'm, I'm so proud of you that you did that, but I have one little criticism, a little question. Lots of criticisms are there. Just a little, just a little question. Were you chewing gum? <laughs> Dude. And, um, there goes the, uh, one of the most beloved presidents. Yeah. Of all time, there he goes. He's dead and he's in the train there. Come on, uh, extra yeah, right so, here. Okay, yeah. okay. I'm uh, Jeff Sills on the scene. Oh, my God. Is that a sponsored announcement? Oh, my God. Yes, yes. Sponsored by Extra. That's one of the things that, one of the first things we learn in broadcasting is not to ever chew gum and speak same time trust but. me i was so nervous because I, I kid you not there were helicopters everywhere and there was this one helicopter that was flying like right above the trees and just going all over the place and for the longest time i didn't think i was even going to be able to get in the air you know because this helicopter would not leave and then finally it 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 buzzed off and i saw a quick opening to bring the, tr the up to the tree line and do one quick pop-up to get the the shot yeah, and and I put no, it back down you, on the ground and walked out of there. <laughs> you did you did a great job, and thank goodness, uh, your breath was fresh. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So uh, what's next? <laughs> okay, so the FAA is preparing for the uh, Christmas season because we obviously know a lot of people are going to be getting drones, and so they've decided to kind of step back in history and look for creative ways to convince people to be good with their drone. Cringe warning. <laughs> This is so cringy. I can't believe our government did this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. We did it last year. We did it last year. You're copying us. We're oh, ahead of you. Okay. Check this out. Buzzy the drone. Safety tips one. When Buzzy goes out for a flight, the number one rule is keep Buzzy in sight. There are other tips for Buzzy and you. But top of the list is keep Buzzy in view. Learn about your new drone at FAA.gov slash UAS. Fly safe. Hey kids, it's Buzzy. It's Buzzy the drone. Hey, hi. I keep remembering those World War II videos that they did cartoons for the troops to teach them about like uh, uh, staying away from women and keep your look, mouth shut look, and don't look, give away secrets. Look, you know, you you know the FAA dudes. We've seen videos from from their personnel before. I've been yeah. visited by their personnel before. I can imagine that meeting. Uh, yeah, we need uh, we need a. Uh, um, anthropomorphic uh, character to uh, get the word out about new drone owners. Should we make it professional and give them information <laughs> that they really need? No, no. No, 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 no. Let's, let's bring a drone to life. Let's put a face on it. 
And maybe and maybe his 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 hands can be propeller. Yeah, 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 we'll do that. We'll give it. Oh my god. What do you want to call him? Oh well, he uh, uh, he makes a buzzing sound. Why not buzzy? Ah, uh, uh, buzz off. Oh lordy lord, lordy lord, fa. Okay, hey, they're trying, right? They're trying. <laughs> well, uh, okay. So the next story falls along the same lines of the FAA. We know that the uh, reauthorization act of 2018 for the FAA has changed the conditions for recreational flying, and altered the way that certain areas. Uh, are registered as being hobbyist flight zones. So to make it easier for you guys, Air Maps has updated their app to properly indicate the new Reauthorization Act information. So if you're ever in question, pull up Air Maps, look at it. It'll display the Class B, C, and D uh, airspace that is okay for you to fly in. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, will Buzzy the drone be uh, visiting uh, Air Maps? <laughs> Look, you know, look, look, it's the government. You know, somewhere right now, there's a company <laughs> building one of those mascot outfits. <laughs> you know, some some FAA intern is going to end up all hot in the summer wearing the buzzy outfit. And then, booze, booze, I'm buzzy. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get that image out of my head now. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, we're going to switch back to the news. I know, because uh, I was an intern. I wore Casper the Ghost and Bugs Bunny. And uh, you know what it smells like inside those mascot outfits. It smells like the sweat and DNA of everyone who's ever worn it. But I'm not mentally <laughs> scarred or anything. Please move on. <laughs> All right. So a Beaverton-based alternative energy startup has gotten a bunch of seed money to generate a new way of, of I guess, collecting energy. And the idea is to harvest energy using a tethered drone. Okay. The principle is similar to a kite. The drone's connected to a tether that collects the energy in the air where the wind speeds are higher. Uh, the goal is to generate 45,000 kilowatts per year, which is enough to power four or five homes per drone. And I don't know if you noticed, but that's uh, the big red barn where I am right now. That's, uh, if you've, you've seen my building, um, that's, that's what it looks like. And that's what's exactly going on outside right now. Buzzy the drone is outside, generating energy. From I gotta let it. I gotta let that go. I gotta let yeah. that go, man. All right, what's next? <laughs> All right, so some computer graphics guys got together and did some research, and they came up with a way to use touch controls in a, a more intuitive manner with drones. Uh, the concept is to be able to use a touchscreen device such as your phone or a tablet and be able to simply do touch gestures on the tablet to tell your drone how and what to film. Huh. And then it will automatically spin or, or, or control the drone to get the shot that you're asking it to do. Okay, but this is only for stills, right? That's the thing. I mean, it could be for stills, but they're talking about it being able to move backwards and forwards along the camera axis, so I'm thinking that they're talking video as well. well okay. Eh, I'm not a fan of that. I, you know, just learn how to fly a stinking drone if you want to. Uh, Everybody wants to try to come up with a different. I, there's way of all. Flying a there's drone. always some somebody with some shortcut. Remember that. Remember that story we did a while back where dude had a suit and he did like <laughs> gestures or something. <laughs> what is wrong with this? What is wrong with that? <laughs> Why? You know. I gotta yeah. wear a suit, and there's a 3D scratch and sniff hologram that pops up. And when you blink your left eye four times, that's when it goes left. Why, why, am, I, why am I Harry Carey all of a sudden? Please, please continue. Sure. <laughs> okay, so um, we've talked about a lot of different police departments that have gotten drones. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, you know, uh, I guess the one police department that was never really mentioned is the one police department that has, I think, the most oversight from civil liberty, uh, the Civil Liberties Union, which is the New York Police Department. Um, they have announced now that they have uh, placed 14 drones uh, in in their with their NYPD department to assist with emergencies. The minute that they re released this, they had to go out and uh, reassure the Civil Liberties Union that they're not going to be using these drones to monitor people. Okay. 
Yeah. I'm sorry. It, it, I mean, you're talking about like one of the most liberal cities in the world. I knew full well the minute that they introduced drones there that it was going to cause a stink. Same thing happened in L.A. when the LAPD got their drones. Everybody's like, no, you can't use your drones. You're going to be looking in my window with my wife. Roderick. Well, that's always going to be the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Remember when, remember <laughs> when cassettes came out? Oh, that's it. That's it. The music industry is done. Nobody will ever buy albums again. Well, where are cassettes now? <laughs> we got a trial in uh, Canberra of um, drone deliveries, and people are complaining about it every day, not because of someone peering in the window, but they're all making noise complaints every single day about people getting their burrito delivered. Oh, yeah. my. Oh, dear. You mean, do you mean they're upset because Buzzy is so loud? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I knew you'd go there. <laughs> Well, his name isn't Quietie. Yeah. Hey, it's Quietie the Drone. <laughs> All right. We got one more story, and this one kind of, um, it, this, this, this has everything, doesn't it, Jeff? Well, okay. Now, we've got one more story before what I know you're talking oh, oh, about. Oh, okay. Well, the last story that we have is a San Francisco hacker is serving a record-setting prison sentence um, for orchestrating a, a new drop count contraband in a, in a Louisiana prison yard. The way it works is he basically smuggled a cell phone into the prison. He then used it to steal credit card numbers, uh, plunder people's accounts. He took the money, invested the profits in a drone, which was then used to fly more phones into the prison. And of course, they caught him in the process of doing that. But what a so solid what a solid business model! You you uh, you reinvest into your business. You know, you have a successful smuggling uh, into prison business and. And you thought, well, how am I going to do this better? I'll get, I'll get a drone, buy more illegal phone. Okay. If only, if only these idiots would apply their smarts to legal things. Yeah, well, he was our idiot criminal for the week, and I couldn't pass up sharing that. Okay. Okay, so the last one that, uh, that Ken mentioned is has everything. Um, there was a surfing event that was going on and a drone was flying out over the water over the surfing event and apparently people didn't want the drone there so they decided to knock it out of the sky using a helicopter yes well first first they tried knocking it out of the sky using uh shoes shoes and and things and uh that didn't work so then the the helicopter pilot decided to use the helicopter's wash to uh, slam it down into the ground. Yeah. And, so it, and, it, a... and it did it. Uh, yeah, now, I... there's many, many things wrong with this. Shall, shall I start or do you want to start? No, no. I, I will let you take lead on this one. Uh, two wrongs don't make a right. First, the, the drone operator was, was in the wrong, it, clearly in the wrong airspace. Uh, and the helicopter pilot was in the wrong because a drone is still an aircraft and you can't interfere with another aircraft. You can't go to war with a smaller inferior aircraft and destroy it in such a way. So they were both wrong. Yeah, and of course, naturally, he downed the drone into a crowded area, which is even worse. Um and the the simple fact that you know nobody decided to take the effort to just find out where the drone pilot was flying from and ask him to bring the drone back right well this is of, you know crowds get together and they they do these things that's that's how police cars get overturned and store windows get smashed one idiot starts and the rest are like well it was okay with him let's all do it Woo! Let's all. and then they're all idiots uh but i don't know well, I, I, what, yeah. what, what uh, do you have any more to this story is there any more to this story? What What is going to happen? Is there anything? Well, I, we don't know what's going to happen with this. Obviously, the you know the the drone pilot has the right to be able to to take this to the NTSB and to the FAA and complain. He was in the wrong for being where he was at, but the pilot was just as wrong, if not worse, for what he did. Um, so, I, as to whether or not there's been any follow up on this, the articles that I've read so far are all just focused on the the flashiness of the video i'm not seeing a lot of follow-up on this yet okay well hopefully somebody will get their wrists slapped because we we can't have this thing this kind of thing happening and by the oh, way uh, a, they put a mavic in the freaking water dude no it's just wrong greg your thoughts 
I'm just imagining if, you know, the organisers send in the chopper, what if the people who own the land in the area didn't like it and they send in a fighter jet to bring the chopper down? Would it be any worse? Right. It's exactly it, the same thing. Yeah, it just keeps escalating. Yeah. But, um, yes. all right. Well, uh, thank you very much, Jeff, for the news. Appreciate it. Before we let you go, uh, what, what do you got there? What do you got there? Is that Howard Cosell? And, uh, <laughs> yeah. And the greatest Howard boxers Cosell that ever Muhammad lived? Muhammad Ali today. So yeah. They were, they loved pulling tricks on each other. Uh, Muhammad Ali would always go after his toupee. And that was clearly a toupee. And, you know, back when, back in whatever, four, 420 resolution television, when it was really poor before HD, you could wear a toupee like Howard Cosell and get away with it. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jeff. Is there, anything, is there anything else you'd like to add before before you go? Obviously, of course, I want to tell everybody to go out to the wiki and check out there because there is news that goes to the wiki that doesn't make the cut, and it's definitely worth seeing. Um, and I want to give a shout-out to Mel and I Am Wedge and Steve Carpenter and all of the gang that threw in the money necessary to finish the remainder of the parts necessary to complete the Rollins drone. Oh, that's right. All of that stuff. All of that stuff is going to be showing up. Uh, in fact, most of the parts are showing up to make it fly today. And the remainder of the parts to get the gimbal to function will be showing up on the 18th. So hopefully before Christmas, it will be a fully functional drone. That's awesome. And uh, if your drone is broken, just go ahead and send it to Jeff. He'll fix it right up for you. I want to fix one <laughs> of each of the DJI drones. So, yeah, definitely let me know. You think he could fix the Matrice? I would love to try. That is a beautiful piece of machinery, and I would love to try. Okay. I believe you could do it, sir. You've got the wherewithal and the smarts. And now we bid you a good day. Thanks for stopping good day. by. Now get out. All right. And now it's just uh, Greg and I.